Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So serial uh, antenatal ultrasound measurements of a fetus are displayed below. Uh, so look at the, uh, the all the growth curves. And basing on that, what do you think uh, is the best choice here? Pause the slide, take a look. So let's walk one by one. So first of all, before we start, let's look at, uh, you know, uh, different. So for example, let's start with biparietal diameter. So as you guys can see that, you know, the growth is following the curve, so that looks good. Same thing with head circumference, that looks okay. Uh, the abdominal circumference is like going this way, then the last major one was slightly up. And this is very significant. Look, look at femur length. So that is really falling a way, way, way down. And also the estimated fetal weight is, is um, is on the lower curve, but it's it, it's following in the right direction, but it's below the fifth percentile. So now let's try to dissect. So genetic testing on amniotic fluid and parent and uh, paternal blood, both mother and father, that looks like the right choice. The whole genome sequence of only paternal blood will not give you information. We need both, uh, you know, the baby as well. So uh, amniotic fluid is also important. So that is out. Then torch titer, this doesn't look like an infection uh, because the head circumference, head is spared. So that is out again. So what about the last choice? The last choice is getting a whole fetal whole body MRI. That is a possibility, but now because this looks like a case of a skeletal dysplasia, you guys can make it out here. And uh, so anyway, so the correct response was A. And uh, so these are the references uh, if you guys have time. Uh, pull it. This is, you know, from CHOP and this is from, you know, Boston Children's. There are websites that talks about the skeletal dysplasia and this slide or this article talks about what are the different tests you can do. And this talks about a specific disorder, uh, which is, uh, you know, short rib thoracic dysplasia 3. So take a look at it uh, and I, will, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.